Glorious barrels. That, you're telling me that's not a barrel? This, this is not, that's not. All right, back to solitude we go. I am, what, fast travel is currently out of, ah, uh, ah, uh, is there, there's enemies nearby? No? What, why is fast, why is fast travel, why is fast travel in the middle? Wait, you want to, hmm, that doesn't make a lot of sense. It just just because it would be convenient. Yeah, not let me go anywhere. Okay, well let's get on top of the mountain and try. Not available from this location. You're not available from this location. Speedy head thing. Come on, get up the mountain. Parkour. Let's do that parkour. Parkour. There we go. Oh, good. Oh, good. Spiders. Good. 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 Oh, this blurry vision is driving me nuts. There's a stone of worship. That won't cure my illness. I wonder if it's the disease that's making me blind. Or is it just being exhausted? I don't know. Actually, I'm close enough to this castle, I should just go grab it so I have it on the map. Oh good, it's Gordify Skeletons. Bye! Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nope. Okay, what the heck? Stone is out here in the middle of a swamp. It's the Shrek stone. <laughs> Alright, what is this thing? It is the Apprentice Stone. What does this do? Under the side of the Apprentice, magic recovers faster and more difficult to damage. I'd rather have the opposite. <laughs> but I'll take some Death Bell. The air is chilly. Well, I'm dressed as warmly as I can, okay? I'm not even recovering stamina. Uh, I'm in trouble. I need to... I'm... I, I'm in trouble. Get back to... Ooh! It's a camp? No one's using it? Oh, it's a glorious camp that no one's using. Oh, I can sleep! Thank goodness, I finally found a place to sleep that's not trying to charge me. I'm just a simple bard, sir. But an abandoned campsite? I will take it. Hopefully we'll be nice and rested. Oh, I'm still... What? How am I still drained? Eight hours of sleep. Let's do another eight hours, then. Getting all the sleep. We should be nice and rested. Now I'm, it looks like I'm... Something. Is that just from the... Rat bite. Yeah. Oh, it's the fatigue. Okay. Oh, I see. So yeah, this rot is affecting other... Oh, man. Well, I'm only peckish, so I'm not going to worry about eating just yet. Since I can't cook, the fire is out. Ah, very well. Onward! And grab the mushrooms. Death bell. Oh, nice mine. But I don't have the thing for that. I've got to stop pushing the wrong buttons. Oof, okay, well that dungeon was frustrating. But we did get through it. We have the book. We can officially become a bard, hopefully, unless they send me on another stupid quest somewhere. But catching butterflies. Ah, ooh, yeah, catching fish. Maybe we can have some fish for breakfast.
Oh, a carp. I haven't had any of those yet. Now, we are on the docks. Maybe we can get some salt piles. That will help us out if we can find any... Hire a boat? Hire a boat? Where do you go? I can take you to any port on the coast. That's good to know. How much do you charge? Where are you headed? Ah, a little, little pricey for me. But I will keep that in mind, sir. Alright, so I don't think I can search the crates. I definitely can search barrels, but yeah, no crates. Alright, well, let's look around and see if we can find some barrels. Ah, glorious barrels. That? You're telling me that's not a barrel? This. This is not. That's not. That's good. Do you have any barrels in here? That's a basket. That's that cheese. Ooh, there's some barrels. What is with these barrels that are not barrels? You're teasing me. That's fine. It's fine. Alright, well, we're we'll back in the city. So hopefully. We find a statue to pray at and get rid of this uh, illness because it's. Uh... All I wanted to do is just be a bar. Just, just wanted to sing, sing my happy songs. Just wanted to play, play my music. <laughs> I don't think I went up high enough. Yep, let's go back. Hello, sir. No lollygagging. Uh, yeah, okay. Nice, nice to see you too. Yeah, jerk. Ooh, here's some flowers. Okay. Well. I'm finally not exhausted, so I can do a couple things in town I want to do last time I was here. Let's go to the apothecary. How do you feel? Yes, yes. I, I'm... Wait, this is your place? No. What time is it? I mean, let's just wait a couple hours. Ah, I'll get the door opened. That's gotta be a good sign. I'm officially hungry, though. I should probably eat that soup now. Food soup. Ah. If you're looking for potions, you should. You were there for Rogvir's execution. Um, I would really just like to talk about what do you have for sale? Nasty bit of business. Perhaps, but necessary. My cousin Fura is somewhere out there in Skyrim right now, fighting Ulfric Stormcloak and his damns insurrectionists. She wouldn't have to be there at all if it weren't for Rogvir. And my aunt wouldn't have to worry about her daughter. No, I already know this, really but don't know. or tell me anyways. He lets Ulfric Stormcloak escape solitude. Ulfric rides in, murders the High King, and Rogvir lets him ride right back out. People to see him places to go, huh? You're a traveler, Later. correct? Have you been to White Run? I don't know. I really just wanted to buy stuff. Actually, yes. Wonderful. I hadn't really hoped to run into someone who'd been there. My daughter, Fura, was assigned to Whiterun after she joined the Imperial Army. I was hoping you might have met her. I haven't heard from her lately. I've tried talking to Captain Aldous, but he hasn't been... Ah, uh, well, I guess it was unlikely. And you just... thank so you. are interested in my potions and ingredients? It's people's man, I just, I'm just... seriously, just here to sell some stuff. Okay. So I guess this fish is used for ingredients more than food, which is why it's here. So that's fine. Let's go ahead and sell all this stuff. No, not the garlic. That's definitely going to be used in food. Maybe the mushrooms, too. I can't imagine the flowers. Maybe a tea or something, but... 
Okay. Now, do you have any salt? Take your salt pile. Thank you very much. Don't forget me next time you need herb. You have a little road back there. To, Are you feeling all right, dear? You look a little ill. You uh -oh. look like an adventurous one. I bet we're kindred spirits. You oh no, I, I'm actually not much of an adventurer. <laughs> Hello, I'm Gizli. All right. Hopefully, I have enough money that I can head over to the tailor now. All I really wanted to do was get some gold for a veteran. Clothes. Though I ended up finding some. You know you can but let's see. Maybe they have some nicer woolen clothes or something. Oh, oh! Let me just drop everything. Clothes and raiment for the oh, discerning geez. customer. Okay. All I care about is warmth. It's like it's not. It would show a difference, right? Oh yeah. There we go. So these boots are not as good as the boots I have. Anything that gives me an improvement to my warmth is what I'm looking for. There we go. Now we're talking. Okay, yes. College robes it is. I probably should put those on before I compare it to anything else. Like the fine robes. Ah, those look really nice. Here. Uh, warmth 54. <laughs> what does this do? That it might just be a crab necklace. That's cool looking, though. Okay, so 54. Is 54 the highest? He's got some really cool necklaces, but yeah, way past my price. Plaint. Yeah, lady, all, all I'm trying to do right now is just stay warm. So I'll take those college robes and I'll get out of your hair. Wow, those are cool too. Darn, I kind of like those more. Oh, and you have a hood for it? Okay, fine. Here, I'll have to sell you back the college robes. Means I lost money on that one, but that's okay. You take the foot wraps and this rough tunic as well. And these clothes. So I have this and the hat. I'm standing naked in front of you, probably. Finally. <laughs> well, that wasn't what I expected you to say. All right, putting on the robe, putting on the hood. Ah, warm value, 145. Much better. Much, much, much higher. All right, these gauntlets somehow are better than fur. The iron is somehow keeping me warmer than the fur. Though, if you look, you can clearly see fur under the iron. But sure, that's fine. Yeah, look at me go. I look great. I love the outfit. And it's keeping me nice and toasty. Hopefully, we'll find out how I do out in the uh, wilderness. But for right now, we can head back to the Bard's College. Now, if that stupid jerk sends me out to find any more dangerous books, I am going to be upset. All right. Finally at the Bard's College. That book in hand. Ah, you've returned. Here's your I have to admit, I didn't think it would actually be there. Oh. Oh, no. What did I say? This won't do at all. The copy is incomplete. And the parts that are readable... Well, bardic verse has come along. It means I can't read it to the court. Without the verse, I won't be able to convince Ellis. If she isn't convinced of the festival's importance, it means that the burning of King Olaf, which the Bard's College has held for time immemorial, won't be happening! Make it up? I suppose I could copy his style based on what you brought me, but I have no idea what happened in between these verses. Oh, Olaf, our subjugator, the one-eyed betrayer, Death-dealing demon and dragon-killing king, your legend is lies, lurid, and false. Your cunning capture of Numenex, a con for the ages. King Olaf was Olaf One-Eye? He famously captured the dragon Numenex and took him to Dragon's Reach. What did we say really happened?
Okay, I guess this is the most outlandish one, so let's go with that. Make the biggest story. I find that highly unlikely. I think it would be irresponsible to write that into the verse. Ah. Okay, fine. He made a deal. Well, Olaf did become king, and Numenex escaped later. It's, it's entirely possible. And I'm sure the court will like that. I'm writing okay, so it So what's in. the middle option, then? All right, what's next? Olaf grabbed power by promise and threat. From fall grief to winter hold, they fell to their knees. But solitude stood strong, Skyrim's truest protectors. Olaf's vengeance was instant, inspired, and wicked. Strange. According to history, Solitude attacked Winterhold, but Asgir seemed to be saying Olaf reacted. What do we say happened? This is probably the truth, but again, I think he's going to oppose it. Oh, that sounds good. I'm not sure the court will believe that Olaf had wizard powers, but we shall see. I do hope the court likes the verse. I think we've done an excellent job of recreating it. I'm also going to swing by the chapel. We see if I can get rid of this uh, horrible disease. Well, I don't think this is actually a chapel yet. This is Blue Palace. Yeah, that's where we're headed anyway, so that's fine. Let me guess. Someone stole your sweet roll. Are you, are you pitting on me? Uh, I'm, I'm good. I'm good, bro. I do hope the court likes the verse. I think we've done it. Huh? Why are you just standing here? Ready? I think my voice is ready. I hope we've done this well. Then why did you sit down? Viarmo, I assume you are here to petition for the reinstatement of the burning of King Olaf festival. I am, Jarl. I wish to present King Olaf's verse from the Poetic Edda, recovered this very day from the Bard's tomb. You mentioned something that would convince us the festival should take place, but I didn't expect King Olaf's lost verse. Please proceed. Oh, Olaf, our subjugator, the one-eyed betrayer, Death-dealing demon and dragon-killing king, your legend is lies, lurid, and false. Your cunning capture of Numenex a con for the ages. No shouting match between dragon and man, no fire or fury did this battle entail. Olaf struck a deal to make himself king. Numenex let go though none tell that tale. Olaf grabbed power by promise and threat. From fall grief to winter hold, they fell to their knees. But solitude stood strong, Skyrim's truest protectors. Olaf's vengeance was instant, inspired, 
and wicked. Because Solitude would not soon bend knee, Olaf would hurt them while his status accrued. He sacked Winterhold, his only true ally, and used magic bold to blame Solitude. So ends the story of Olaf the Liar, a thief and a scoundrel. We of Solitude commit to the fire. In Solitude, bards train for their service. They also gather each year and burn a king who deserves it. You have proven your point, Viarmo. The festival is truly a celebration of solitude and a condemnation of false kings. I thank you, and the college thanks you, Jarl. Furthermore, I believe that such a fine poem deserves some payment of patronage. The college will be moderately rewarded. Oh, thank you yet again. I will make sure our applicant, who was instrumental in recovering the poem, will be well rewarded. Unbelievable! You have done us a great service here. I can't begin to thank you enough. Does that mean I'm a bard now? Soon. Soon. These things must be done properly. You will be inducted as part of the festival itself. I need you to go speak to Jorn. He was preparing the effigy of King Olaf. Tell him to finish the preparations. The festival is back on! Hey. Really need to get this disease checked out, but sure, we'll go talk to your guy. How can I help a brother not? Oh, much nicer than the last thing you said to me. Tell everyone we're ready. Come talk to me after dark. We'll get the festival started when you do. Alright. Chill out in the chair for a little while. Let's try seven. Ah, the bard to be. Did Fiarmo send you? I'll tell everyone we're ready. Come talk to me. Uh, How late do you want to do? We'll get the festival started when you do. Ah, no, the bard to be. Great. Looks like you'll be one of us soon. We'll gather outside the college for the burning of King Olaf. All right, looks like we're going to have to uh, pause it here. But anyways, guys, this was Skyrim Anniversary Edition, and I'm definitely having fun. It is a bit challenging, but I like it. Hope you guys are enjoying it as well. Let me know if I should play some more of it. Anyways, guys, have a great one. I'll see you all next time. Bye.